Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at an abandoned monastery here in northern Alberta in the woods. Also referred to as a skeet. It's a monastic community where monks once lived in isolation and practiced their religion. So I thought it was very unique and interesting for this to be here. I didn't know these existed in the forests of Alberta, but here is one. We'll go over here first. There's remnants of one of the structures. So it looks like most of the structures around here have collapsed or some are pretty close to collapsing. Here's one here still standing. When you look at these places, they were built pretty basic. Um, it looks like a lot of what they used to build this was salvaged materials. You can look at the outside of this one here and you can see how it was, looks like cardboard almost on the outside. And then underneath that is straw and mud. And then wood underneath that. Very interesting. I see on this building they have like these little brace pieces it looks like that are just old scraps of metal probably. the door you can see pretty basic so yeah they just cut down wood or found wood whatever they could find that's what they would build these structures out of they lived pretty much in poverty they didn't have much material possessions this is all about living in isolation and practicing their beliefs and their religion. So that's why you'll see that the construction of these places is pretty basic. As long as it was a shelter and it worked, that's all they needed. There's a quick peek inside. There's not much left in there. But you can see, very simple. Just a square box couple windows and a door. That's all I needed. So yeah, this is very cool, interesting place. I like finding places like this that have some history and it's just unexpected. I had no idea about this place, but that's the fun of exploring. You never know what you might find. Go have a look in here. Let's have a look at the inside of this one. Not much left. It's been cleaned out. Looks like someone just threw some 
tires in here at some point. And this is just another room next to the one I just showed you. Say basic construction. The insides are just uh, a thick layer of plaster, it looks like. And then uh, mud and straw. And then the wood underneath that. And that's typical for a lot of these buildings from back in that time. Okay, we'll continue on. And we're gonna go up here. I see a building up here. of a path <laughs> that I can find to get up here. It's really overgrown. So yeah, here's a good look of the construction. So you can see that like plaster material and that is mud and straw. And there's the wood underneath. Here's a quick look on the inside of this one. It's again, nothing in there. Except for this old table, it looks like. And just some debris on the floor. And yeah, I'm not gonna go in any of these structures. They are not in very good condition. So yeah, this side of the building is completely collapsed over here. Go around over here and get a better look. There we go. Chimney, that's still standing. This side of the building is completely collapsed. And in there is the stove, you can see. But I don't think there's too much else. Some shelving. There's a better look at the stove. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Could be more stuff in there, but I'm not gonna go in. I'm just gonna walk over here just a little bit. See if there's anything else over here. I don't really see anything, but you never know. Yeah, I don't see any paths. Yeah, some trees came down on this side of the structure. So yeah, nature is definitely trying to take over. Some of the structures are not standing at all anymore. And some are, but barely. But it's very cool to be here can almost imagine what it was like back in the day when the monks were here living. Such a peaceful surroundings here. Beautiful and peaceful, quiet. And that's what they would have liked. So it's a good location that they had.
so we'll continue on over here, try to find our way down. I can see a couple structures there in the distance. So this community here was founded in the 1950s. And I think the last member moved away in the 1960s and that's when it was abandoned since then. There's a little structure over in there. I don't know if you can see it. left though. So the monks that lived here are of Ukrainian background. And they're part of the Orthodox Church. Oh, there's another structure over there. Pretty cool, tucked in the trees there. So this part of Alberta, there is a lot of Orthodox churches around. Lots of the small towns around have them. And you can tell which ones are Orthodox churches. Those ones have the onion domes on top. So yeah, there's a big Ukrainian presence around this area. Here's an old piano. Interesting spot for a piano. <laughs> the Morris Piano Company Limited. If anybody has an idea of the date or the age of this piano, maybe leave a comment down below, but it looks like it's been here for a long time. I don't think it would have been original to the community. I don't think they would have had a piano. So maybe it was just brought here and dumped later, later on. Or maybe it was given as a gift. It's hard to say. So you just have to be careful around here because that looks like what's left over of the top of a well. I have a feeling the piano is probably laying right over top of the well. Maybe that's why it's like that. Structure. There's not much left there. I like the ground cover in here. Look at all those little white flowers everywhere. Pretty nice. Another tree has fallen on this structure. Yeah, and there's nothing left of this one. Nature's just completely taking over. Yeah, like I said earlier, these structures are built pretty basic with salvaged materials or whatever they could find. So they weren't really built probably to last for too long. And it's all they had. So this is how they lived. Material possessions didn't mean anything to them. It was about their beliefs and their religion. Let's see, 
here's another structure over here. This might be the last one that I can see. Nature's definitely taken over this one. It's all overgrown all around. All the trees. nothing in there just some debris okay I think that's about it I don't see anything else more over there don't see any paths or easy way to get over there to look so yeah there's probably about six or seven structures that I've seen around here there could have been more just can't see them now if they've collapsed and they're covered over Yeah, this is a very cool place. I know there's not much left of the buildings to look at. But finding these kinds of places is just, it's just awesome. I love this. Finding all these different places that you never knew existed. And you have some history. Because I really never knew that there was monastery sites around in Alberta. In the forest where monks lived in isolation i had no idea that any of that even existed and that's why i love doing this so much now because until you start doing this you don't realize what's around and even close to where you live like when i first started i didn't know of any of these places really and now i'm finding all kinds yeah, look at a tree. It grew right up through that part of the building. Okay, everyone, that'll be about it. I'm gonna leave here in a couple minutes. The bugs are trying to eat me alive. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate that and yeah I appreciate everybody that does watch my videos and is supporting me and what I do and I will see you guys on the next adventure thanks a lot <laughs>